The Papa's franchise of Flash games are iconic. Let's face it, if you were a student in the 2010s, odds are you've logged on to Cool Math Games and played at least a few days of this thing instead of, I don't know, doing homework or writing an essay. But what happens when you play more than just a few days? Maybe, I, I don't know, 100 days? I decided to sacrifice my sanity and play 100 straight days of Papa's Freezeria starting from day one, and it got crazy. The first 10 days are pretty simple and probably what we've all played. You're introduced to the mechanics, get all your restaurant upgrades, nothing too crazy there. Days 11 to 20 though are when things start to get insane. Day 11 to 20, time to make some ice cream, blizzard, I don't, I don't know what these- The amount of customers they start to throw at you already is annoying. We're talking lines of four to five people, alarms ringing, custard churning, it's enough to give any restaurant worker a bit of PTSD. Also, this one customer, Matt, came into the store eight days in a row and ordered a large shake every time. It's this- guy again. This is, I think, the ninth out of 10 days where Matt has shown up. This dude is gonna die very early if he keeps this habit up. This is like worse than cigarettes. I don't know how a single human being can pack away so much ice cream. All I know is I would not want to be his toilet. Thankfully, though, most of the orders don't get too complicated at this point in the game, and while I had a few blunders here and there, I was still able to keep up with the rush, and heading into days 21 to 30, things were looking pretty good. Day 21 to 30. Hey, one step at a time, you know what I'm saying? We're getting there. Papa's Freezeria has this system where if you give a customer an order, the game deems is good, you earn a star point with them. If you can earn five separate star points on five different days, they award you a medal with that customer, ranging from bronze, silver, etc. Each tier of medal makes that specific customer say their order to you faster, helping speed up your days a bit. However, the further you progress, the more ingredients you unlock, and the more ingredients you unlock, the more complicated every customer's order gets. Even the patrons that had simple orders in the earlier days wind up complicating them a ton as the weeks go on. Yet your reward for spectacular customer service is a difficulty spike, just like real life. Days 31 to 40, can't quit now I'm in too deep. Days 31 to 40 were for the most part the same as days 21 to 30, just more complicated since as I said before, there's way more ingredients, including these weird gummy onion things. And to make matters worse, this weird gummy onion fan who dresses like a big onion started rolling into the store around this time. Yeah, the customers are starting to skew too far towards the complete wacko side for my taste. And even worse, the health inspector showed up. The health inspector is a special kind of customer called a closer. He has a lower tolerance for mistakes than your average customer. And unlike other closers, he gives out an award when given an order that meets his overwhelmingly high standards. So naturally, I fed him the most disgusting concoction I could come up with. Or you know what? I think I will serve the health inspector something rancid because he's had it too good for too long. What can I give him that's just disgusting? We'll start with pineapple, put mint in it. Oh, he's going to be so pissed off. Let's give it a little bit of smoke from the overheat there. Here's what we're going to do. Give him a bunch of Oreos, give him a bunch of mint, give him a bunch of the cherries that people want to pick off, blueberry syrup, banana, and like five more cookies. All right, health inspector. <laughs> <laughs> I lost stars with him for that too. Okay. With all these annoying and sometimes insane customers continuing to show up, I need someone to bring a semblance of sanity to my consumer base. A strong, chiseled god of a customer who anyone can get behind. And thankfully, a legend was just beyond the horizon. Right, we're halfway there, only like what, 15 more hours of the game to... <laughs> oh. That's right, everyone. We finally unlocked Big Polly as a customer. A staple in the Papa's universe of games, this affable fella is always a treat to see. But what isn't a treat to see, though, is his order. This man orders a large freezeria with five damn Oreos on top, and sure, it takes some time to plop those cookies down. But the worst part about this abomination of a ticket is how he wants his freezeria blended. He wants an extra smooth. And this takes so much time to blend. So much, in fact, that I've been just disregarding his orders entirely and hardly blending that sweet treat at all because I've been playing a lot of Freezeria at this point that I can't even see the light at the end of the tunnel. The only thing keeping me going is my morbid curiosity. What will day 100 look like? Will the orders stay this annoying? Maybe we'll get lucky and they'll change on day 51? They did not change on day 51. More blending, more Freezeria, and the pace of these 10 days was unlike any of the others. Now, you might be thinking, at least if the pace is at its fastest, you'll be able to fly through this stretch of days no problem, right? To which I would reply, when did I say it was fast? We've earned a lot of new customers lately via leveling up and oh my god, they all speak so slowly. I haven't had an opportunity to rank them up. I don't know how this could get any worse. Oh my god, these take like five minutes to blend. I can't take this anymore, man! Can I be honest? Like, I don't even really like ice cream. The orders are finally speeding up again. At this point, I've unlocked most of the customers and earned medals with them to boot, speeding the days back up and giving me hope that we're finally running downhill. Now, when I say sped up, these days still take me eight to 10 minutes on average to complete, which is a lot of ice cream making, don't get it twisted, but just these few less minutes of wasted time are giving me that second wind. Oh yeah. Time to take on the rest of the game. Boom, 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 boom. This day is about to be over in record time. 
Oh, please don't crash. The day was just about to be over in record time. Oh, I shouldn't have said nothing. Oh, I shouldn't have said anything. Okay. Ow, it just crashed the entirety of Google. That's crazy. It's happening. We're almost there. We're gonna do it all. The days have sped up even further and that unfortunately timed computer crash is well behind us. I've been refreshing at the end of every couple days just in case. With all the unlockables we can muster in the lobby filled with anchors, I'd say we're more than ready to take on day 100. I don't know what surprises are in store, but let me tell you, I can't wait to find out. Rafe or pure pog? Is it gonna be that hype? I'll brace myself, but I hope I'm not let down. Would love to see the papa. But in my mind, I feel like they won't do anything special for day 100. Nothing big happened, nothing crazy happened. It was just just another day at the Papa's. Literally nothing happens, the grind continues. Yeah, it seems that way. But he's gonna have to find a new employee because it's not me anymore. Oh, it's not me anymore. The, that's it? After all this time spent monotonously mixing ice cream instead of, I don't know, anything else? The reward is nothing? H hold on, maybe it's one of those twist endings where the developers want you to feel the disappointment on purpose. Maybe I'm supposed to feel gypped by this ending because the journey is what's important. With all of its anchors and extra smooth ice creams and slow talking customers, perhaps that's the lesson buried within this game. It's not always about the destination. <laughs> Who am I getting? This shit sucked. Hey, what's up? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, maybe take a look at this one here. It's based off another childhood game and it's also in the same style. So, you know, I think you would probably probably like it. Also, subscribe if you want. I can't force you, but it would be nice.